Illuminati, what? Returning with our next episode of our North Korean 1950 conquest. Starting out at round number 39. We've kind of bogged down here. Um, I think it's going to be a slow breakout. I'm going to have to get a pretty decent army of artillery built before I can actually start progressing here. And maybe it'll happen this episode, maybe it won't. We've got we've got a few different um, front lines going on here. Still trying to get Rommel landed. I don't know, you know, it's completely clear. I bring Rommel in and then all of a sudden there's like NATO troops everywhere. All right, what do we got going on here? We've got two almost dead tank generals. But they should have enough health to go ahead and take LA and San Francisco, hopefully. You know, I was wondering, um, when I ended last episode, I was just like, why is this harder than the last uh, few series I've done? with these small countries and then it hits me i've been doing nato countries that's why this one's harder slower progression is is um not very good it's been very slow But I've been here before, you know, I've I've been in this exact spot right here. Uh, 1939 Germany, when I played that. No generals, no tech level. I mean, this is the exact same thing that happened. Huge naval spam out of them. All I, all I could do is uh, spam artillery. You know, I'm going to go ahead and throw down, yeah, the military academy. Start pumping out heavies out of here. Yeah, so this is nothing new. At least this time around I've got a couple generals and um, a lot better tech. Although I'm probably getting less income. Hell yeah, Rommel, get it done. Rommel landed and just started wrecking. Okay, there, there's no U.S. troops in the U.S. Apparently, they're all Mexican troops. I just don't have enough money each round to do what I want to do. I mean, I don't even want to be a big spender. I just, I, just, I don't even have enough money to do the, the very few things that I'd like to do. We're getting close to the uh, level seven when we can build some missile tech, which will greatly help out. I'm gonna have to use it sparingly though. Cause usually when level seven comes along, I got a lot of land and can actually uh, resupply my industrial and technology resources. And they're just not giving Rommel a break here.
I just don't understand why there's so many Mexican troops. do with my almost dead artillery generals, right? By putting into their ground forces up here, I don't see that they got any more ground forces. Um, grab me a placeholder. Rommel, you need to get on a city, bro. Nice. Damn, he's wrecking shit. Oh, what? Just cleared that whole area out. Now that he has, like, an eighth of his health. Probably more like a sixteenth of his health. All right, Mexican army. I've had about enough of you. You know, I might end this with no generals. The only generals that have any health are Nimitz and uh, Runestead. And that's just because I put them down recently. I'm telling you, I've been cursed lately with, with this series and the African CCP series. Which is about to get really interesting. I think next episode, um, our troops are going to hit the spam wall. Definitely in the Middle East. Possibly in Europe as well. I would like to be able to take Brussels. A uh, boom! Belgium, you're out of there. Okay, they're not even bothering with land troops now. They're just like, let's just keep spamming naval units. All right, Rommel, what do I want you doing? Remember, I had Rommel in, um... Well, when did he... I think he had full health when I went into the Mediterranean. Or damn close to it. Now he's almost dead. Yeah, I better focus on the U.S. here for a little bit. By the time I get here, I'm constantly running out of money. I've been neglecting my U.S. front here.
missiles to save the day. There we go. And take me a new city. Which leaves me with barely any money for Europe or Africa. But we've reestablished ourselves in the US. If I moved him there, he would instantly be dead. I mean, even with that little bit of health, he's still at least useful. Throwing down a hundred damage like that. This naval spam pisses me off. I would, I would rather be infantry spam than naval spam. At least that makes sense. Like, they all just pack into the Baltic and North Sea and just sit there. Even if you're not around, even if they control it, they all just sit there in some massive circle jerk. It just doesn't make sense. If I'm going to be spammed, I want it to make sense. Oh, we've got that little area cleared out. Let me hold that. Okay, we're making a little bit of progress. Let's see. At least. Oh, damn! Look what happened. I lost. I lost Lieb and Koniv. Wow. That sucks. Progress has been made, however small. I'm not going up against that artillery piece. I actually need Rommel to stay alive here. Like, I don't got any money to do anything here. I think missiles pretty much saved our North American campaign. We were, we were getting overran. Our wonder weapons saved the day. Such progress. Damn, we really don't own shit, though, do we? We actually might have made it to Europe too soon. You know, usually when I go to Europe, uh, the Allies or NATO have at least made it to around 
Moscow, which gives me all that territory to grab up before I ever even get to the English Channel, which gives me a bunch of resources. And now I'm just like, yeah, I don't, I have nothing. But an almost dead Manstein, an almost dead Rommel. My other two tank generals are almost dead in the U.S. Konov and Lieb got wrecked all in the same round. I mean, I want to at least feel like I'm doing something down here. There, I did something. Look at me. Look at me. I've done something. And you know that Guderian and Rokoskovsky are dead as soon as they get near the East Coast. They'll get missiled, so... Yeah, we might end up with just, like, Nimitz left. Nimitz is feeling pretty good. He's pretty healthy right now. Alright, I'm going to be able to take that port again in the English Channel. Um, last time I took it and I couldn't hold it. If I can just hold the damn thing so that next round I can throw down like a tier 3 sub. Oh my god. Manstein, I can't even see your health bar. Um, how much will this take? Nice, only two. Can we grab this? Yep. I mean, the Soviets are all up in Scandinavia not doing a damn thing to help. And we will not be able to grab that, though. Well, shit, I don't know. Maybe. I can't. That's going to leave me with no ability for paratroop. Well, maybe. We'll try it here. There we go. Nice. Just going to leave Algiers open. I'm going to go up there and try to steal it. And once again, I end up with 300 dull hairs try to do something in the U.S. I need to switch over. I need to, like, spend my money in the U.S. first one round, and then the next round spend it in Europe. I keep screwing myself. And they're starting to... Spam out a little bit again. Oh, 
All right, bros, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wrap this video. We have definitely made some headway, especially in the US. Actually, we've made some decent headway in the US, Europe, and Africa. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good about our situation, a lot better than when I first started. Anyways, if you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slip the shit out of like, subscribe, and I'll be back here for our next upload. Peace, Bruminati, out.